Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor tutorial. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to create social media icons that float at the edge of the screen. Have you ever noticed in some blogs whereby when you scroll down the page, there are some icons that remain floating at the side of the screen and it gives you quick access to it? This can be quite handy for your visitors so that they can easily find you on your social media handles. So they can always have quick access to it. You can also use it for share buttons on your blogs. So maybe you have a blog and you want your users to easily share those, your very nice content to their followers and give you more reach for your blog content. So you can add share buttons that can easily share that page's content to their social media pages. By extension, the same method we're going to be using, you can apply it to even containers and sections. So with containers, you can add more features. Uh, it also works with sections and columns. So, so in this video, we'll be showing you the basic idea of how you can achieve this effect. So let's get started. Here we are on our Elementor edit screen. The first thing we want to do is add in our widget, which will be the icon list widget. Next, we'll add in our content. So I'm just going to drop in some random text. Next, we can style it how we want under the style tab. You can give it the colors you want and the text colors and the font size. After we finish with all that, go under advanced. We'll be using two CSS properties. One is the positioning and the other will be the transform. So first, we have to use the positioning to get it to the edge of the screen and stay fixed. So we we'll use the fixed position. So that breaks it out of the current flow and you can now position it wherever you want on the screen. So for the horizontal orientation, we we'll get it to the right. The offset, we can leave it at zero. For the vertical orientation, let's give it about 30% from the top. So it's not toward the top, it has enough breathing room. The next thing we'll do is the transform. If it was a single item, we can just come over to transform and set the offset however we want for both the normal and the hover state. But since we want to target each of them individually, we have to use custom CSS. So we'll go over to custom CSS and we'll be targeting the icon list item. So selector dot elemental icon list item and for that we'll apply the the transform effect so we'll say transform we'll be using the translate x so we're translating it on the x axis and let's give it at the starting point let's give it 100 percent so now it has been pushed off the screen so we want only the icon to be visible on the screen. So we have to take away the width of the icon. So we're using the calc function. So calc 100% and the width of the icon is about 1.5 M. Yeah, that's it. So as you can see now, just the icon is showing on the screen. Next, we'll apply the hover effect. So selector and we'll target it again. We're targeting the hover state and we apply the transform again. And this time we're just going to say translate X, want it to go back to the original. So just put zero. Yeah, and as you can see now, when you hover over them, it comes up. But for now it's quite abrupt, so we'll give it some transition. So let's Come to the main one and say transition. Let's just say all 0.2 seconds is in out. And now you can see when we go over, hover over it, it comes out slowly and nicely. Finally, we we'll add some Z index because just so to ensure that it is always on top of every other section because sometimes it might go below some sections and you will not be able to hover over it. So come over to layout. Then the Z index, let's just give it a high number like 999 so that we, we are sure it's always on top of every other section that we may want to add. 
And for the background color, we'll have to use custom CSS to target each one individually again. So just say we can to say background color and give it maybe uh, gray. See? Now they all have the gray color, or maybe that's too much. So let's just use um, EEE, just a light gray, just to show what it means, how it is. And yeah, that's about it. With this, you can extend it to create all of the different styles like this, with the share buttons. They all follow the same principle with containers as well as with sections. If you would like to, me to show you a tutorial on how to do it with co columns and sections or with containers, please drop a comment in the comment section and leave a like. If we get enough comments and enough likes, we'll be able to go ahead and show how to do that. Thank you.